So you want to become a software engineer, but you have no idea where to start. Well, I have these three tips that can help you get started on your journey. So if you're new around here, my name is Ryan Siddiqui. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. And in this video, I'll be sharing some tips on how you can get started on your journey into becoming a software engineer. So now I've been getting a lot of DMs lately from people. They want to become a software engineer, but they, they aren't sure what to do or where to start. A lot of them are high school students. A lot of college students as well have reached out to me. Like they have no idea where to start. Like there's just so much information online and they're just confused. Like they're, they don't know where to start. So in this video, hopefully I can clear some of that confusion. So these are my three tips on how you can get started. So number one is programming basics. Now you need to learn programming basics. If you have a goal of becoming a software engineer, if you don't know how to code, you can't, you can't even get started on that journey. So number one, wherever you are in your journey, if right now, if you know how to code or if you have no idea like how to code, so it doesn't matter wherever you are in your studies, say you're a high school student, even a middle school student, or say you're a college student, but you have no idea, like what can I actually do? First thing you need to do is learn programming basics. So just look up a series online. So my recommendation, either pick Python or basic web development. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript and just learn that, like just learn the programming fundamentals, like learn about your functions, classes, variables, all those different concepts and get those down. So number two, do some research. So at this point, you learn some of the basics of programming. So you know what the fundamental concepts are. So now you know how to code. Now do some research. Use your daily tech usage as an inspiration. Look up like everywhere you play games, look up online how to create games. You play like mobile games, look up online how to create mobile games. So just do some research, get yourself familiar with all the different development tools, all the different languages there are, explore some other programming languages as well. Say for example, you started in Python, well now explore some Java or some C++, etc. So just do that, just be in this exploration phase, like just everything that you see everywhere. For example, say you're taking the bus to school, well, look at the bus, look up online how like, what type of computer systems are inside that bus. Or whenever say you're tapping your card whenever you're purchasing groceries well look up online like be curious look up online question things look up online like how does this machinery actually work and you'll discover a lot of different frameworks a lot of languages and that will clear off a lot of this confusion on not knowing where to start so do that number two so number three is start creating projects. So say you've learned the fundamentals of programming, you've done a lot of research, you've looked around at stuff, you've learned like how to create games, you've looked up online like how apps are created. Pick one thing and start creating a lot of stuff within that. Now this isn't something that you have to commit. Like say like um, I'm starting out, I just learned some Python, I looked up online, you can create um, 3D games with Unity. Now I don't have to stick with Unity for my life. Like just pick a time frame, like say a month or two. So for a month, just do one thing. So say you picked Unity, well, just create a lot of Unity projects. Just look up online. There's plenty of resources online. Brackies, like person, one of my personal favorites. This is just an example for Unity. So just look up online, like there's a lot of resources. Follow that, follow, create a lot of projects, create a portfolio, create like a super basic like LinkedIn page and whatever you create, like take screenshots and everything, write a description, upload that onto LinkedIn. So you'll have a record of everything that you're doing. So just make sure to create a lot of stuff, get some practical experience. Yeah, so those were my three tips on how you can get started into your journey to becoming a software engineer. So number one, learn programming basics. Number two, do some research, question things, explore different languages, different frameworks. And number three, pick something for a month or two and then create lots of stuff and repeat this process over and over again for different languages, different frameworks. This way you'll be able to get a general understanding of all the things that happen in this tech world. So you'll have a lot of opportunities open for you later on. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and I'll see you in the next one.